Hello in Nev viewers, the Ginger Geek here, this time with a game review. I'll be doing a lot more of these in the coming months, weeks, years, whatever. But uh, we're going to launch with an obscure review, a review of Deadly Premonition. Deadly Premonition being an obscure game but due to its cult status. A budget game released exclusively for 360, however it was released on PS3 in Japan if you're willing to import. Uh, it is really, really strange. Probably one of the strangest games I've ever played. So PS2 games? Uh, well, not just PS2. I'm massive, 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 massively into games. Um, they were sort of my first uh, obsession. Um, one of the sort of um, traits uh, autistic people tend to have is uh, special interests. You can become quite kind of obsessive. I went and learned the entire GameCube library um, off by heart. Um, for like, and, and on a region by region basis, so I learned like what all the Japanese exclusives were. Random fact, uh, Animal Crossing did have a PAL release, so you can get a version of Animal Crossing that plays on GameCubes over here, but only in Australia, everywhere else didn't get it. But yeah, uh, I've got a couple of Japanese games as well, just stuff that didn't come out over here, so Super Robot Wars GC, uh, they've got like different boxes. So that is Dorimun Mikusu TV Warudo Fighters, uh, it is the only game in which you can play as Optimus Prime fighting Japanese Barbie. It's crap. It's absolute trash. It doesn't play well at all. You can also play as the guy off Beyblade, uh, Tyson. And uh, I've also got, uh, if I can find them. Yeah, these these are cool. Nintendo is actually, you know, people think of it as kind of like this new thing that sort of sprouted up in the mm. 80s. It's actually like a company that is over a hundred years old. They started originally making these things called Hanabi playing cards, which is this um, Japanese game, um, almost kind of like poker. And on the hundredth anniversary of Nintendo, they released these uh, to Club Nintendo members. Um, and basically they are the game Hanabi, but the turn on I like the tradition of the original. I'm not gonna take it out actually. I've made like a, a spreadsheet in Google Sheets where you can go into it and you can click buy console and you get the specific list alphabetized of like how many Japanese games I've got, how many um, English games I've got, how many American imports, uh, total count for each individual console and then it calculates them all. I'm still like, it's a work in progress. I'm very excited about it though. Since we talked, there's been some changes with usually being seen as commercial, they're being Report that they're gonna like remove channels that are not commercially viable. Yeah. Uh, what's your stance on that? I think it's fucking stupid. Um, I think they're a bunch of bastards. Like you know, you can't say gay. You can't say the word gay in the first five minutes of a YouTube video without getting automatically demonetized. Hundreds of, if not thousands, of LGBTQ creators just demonetized overnight because YouTube just decided they didn't like the word gay. Just a bunch of pricks. Um, it's kind of like a perfect little bubble of how counterintuitive to what YouTube's initial goal was. It's not supposed to be an outlet for Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel and all the Jimmys and it was new media that was the whole thing. It was like an alternative traditional media. You were supposed to go onto YouTube when you were sick of the crap that was on TV. Howdy, Karim here in CBBC HQ. We've got Danger Mouse on the way next and I'm joined by a very special guest. Everyone meet Daniel! Yeah, you little fucking daft cunts. Who's all these people who keep fucking MSN and all that to me? Also, I'm like, is there any point in this going back on? You know, it's like I might get kicked off within a month of like re-uploading and it, it completely like kills any sort of passion and the joy you have for it when it's so like heavily moderated and heavily criticised. Like I've got to be careful of like anything I say. While I don't usually do videos like this, it seemed to me that as a massive fan of the original Jurassic Park, I had more than a few things to say and this just felt like a good way to collect my thoughts. And it's not that I don't want to do video games, I certainly want to cover video games and every now and then I'll sneak in a video game movie like I did the video essay on um, Shadow of the Colossus and the teleological suspension of the ethical. Yeah, God, 
I probably want a son, like. Reckon you could do this lot of favor and bring him a son into this world. The main reason I started doing films was admittedly something as shameless as accidental popularity. Now, I'm not saying the movie's bad. In fact, it was extremely watchable. But in many other ways, it failed so spectacularly I wanted to cry into my pillow after cutting myself with the tail end of the toy Velociraptor from the Lost World set that I cherished so much as a child. When my YouTube channel first went viral, um, my mate got us this for Christmas. It couldn't be worse than those other two films. <laughs> right, guys? Right? Oh, yes, it fucking can. This crap makes Rise of the Silver Surfer look like sodding Casablanca. And it's a donut labelled Fantastic Four because it has no middle, which was one of the big criticisms of the <laughs> video of Fantastic Four. That, uh, and that was the first video that went uh, viral, which I thought was really cool. What if I wanted to make a, a, a review of, a, a, like, say, Call Me By Your Name? Is that is that, like, monetizable? Is that not allowed because it's about a gay, it's a, it's a gay love story? Like, because this is the thing as well, they're completely, like, they're so avoidant of transparency. They never tell you what's, uh, demonetizable. They never tell you what's um, allowed and what's not. And I am one of the lucky ones, and I do mean lucky. Like, I know, I'm not saying I didn't work hard, but you can work hard and still fail. And I'm grateful to you, to like having the channel and having that outlet. I'm grateful that like people respond to it. Um, I don't think I could have made the August Club without it. Um, of the 500% uh, funding I raised on Kickstarter, 425% of that came from uh, the YouTube referrals or some, some figure like that. Like, I literally don't think I could have made that film without YouTube, so I am grateful. It was so scary, he would come down to feast every full moon right, and then... I thought that form runs were a werewolf thing. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Squirtle, Charmander, or Bulbasaur? Uh, definitely not Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur can do one though. Fuck that guy. God, I like you less than my father. The good thing about handhelds is they tend not to region lock them, with the exception of 3DS. 3DS is region locked. You gave us an opportunity to talk about my games collection, and and that was uh, an unwise choice. And then there's me Switch games building up. <laughs>